sorry guys, I, got, I was uh, absent from my blog for quite a while. I got tired of typing uh, blogs and posts, especially in English, and that's why I decided to do a video podcast. So I hope you will enjoy it. I hope it will make sense. This week I was at, um, in Rovin, Croatia. There was a photo, a photo festival there. Uh, Rovin Photo Days and I joined a workshop of uh, Milan Zhukovic about panoramic uh, photography. I really loved his workshop and it was really great and I learned a few tricks. Um, it's not even a week after and I have already all the equipment and I want to share with you some, some good stuff. So basically, you know, the, the biggest trick about, um, about panoramic um, photography is a parallax. Basically, when you, when you have a camera on your tripod and when you turn it around, actually the axis is on the back of your camera, which is not good because the parallax is really big. I will show you later. Uh, what you need to do is to set back your camera, and that's why I bought this, this baby. It's, um, it's head uh, panorama, it's Man Manfrotto 303 plus head. Like that. Okay. So this is you. This is how it usually is. Basically, the axis is on on the back of the camera. But now, when you turn it around, it's not. It's 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 not cool. It's not. It's the nodal point is actually in the middle of the lens. So with this with this head, I can move it backwards and fasten it. That's it. Really cool. And goes and has also degrees as you can hear it. So when you move it around you know exactly how many degrees did you move it. The most easiest way how to establish where your nodal point of your lens is is the following. Basically you put your two tripods in the back and then and now, now the camera is set that the nodal point is on behind the camera. It's not on the middle of the lens. So when you shift, when you shift, when you change your perspective, you can see that there is um, parallax. So, um, and what I do with this head, I just move it back, 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 back. So the no nodal point is in the middle. So let's see what's the difference now. Yeah, still a little bit. Back. Back, 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 back. Okay, that's good. See, good, perfetto. That's it. That's the trick um, that I learned last week on on photo days on the workshop of panoramic camera of Milan Zhukovic. So rock and roll for Milan. Yesterday I was coming home from Ljubljana and I saw this scenery um, from the Lenska region and I, t I couldn't resist to stop my car and take, uh, test my, fir my first proper test of panoramic head. So I took this picture, this one and this and then I stitched it together with Photoshop into this. Of course, it uh, it's full of details. I, I would love to see it like two meters by, I don't know, by three. No, I mean three meters by, oh, okay, it's like 25,000 pixels by three, almost 4,000. So that's, you know, huge. And then, you know, uh, I saw <laughs> two, two, uh, two people working, two farmers working just in a, in the um, field uh, beside. So I asked them to take up their portrait, so they were posing for me, for this portrait. And then I've done a picture on the le left, three, four pictures on the left, and then on the right as well. And then I stitched them together into this image. I mean, it's huge, you see, 28,000 by 4,200. Um, and then I cropped it into, into this, this frame. I really love it and it will be it will be a good project I can tell I can tell uh, cool um, oh yeah let me show you uh, one more detail how if you if you have a panoramic head the um, 
the stitching with Photoshop is done really well, like like this. Okay, let's blow up closely. Now you see it. No, you don't. Actually, you don't see where it's stitched together. Merged together. And let me show you a bad example of stitching with Parallaxa. See, this is actually only two images uh, merged together. And from far you can tell, you can you would say it's nice, but you know, if you enlarge it, you can see that I was, uh, Photoshop couldn't merge those two images together. Uh, parallax was too big. So that's why I used, I, I tried to do it manually, but you know, it is as it is. It's not really good actually. So this, these are two, uh, two, two examples of perfect stitching uh, with, with panoramic he head and without, with just with classic um, uh, tripod head. But let, let me show you the most craziest, pa crazy panorama that I've done. Actually, I got an order to do a panorama uh, dimensions half a meter by 30 meters. And this is the result. Actually, it's a, it's, it was done for a hotel. It was a, on a Hotel Strunyan. Okay, so this is these are the details. This is the, the Bay of uh, Copper. It was done with Nikon D3X. And look at that. Oh, let, let's go 100%. This is like, you know, a story. Um, if you imagine like people walking down the down this corridor uh, of hotel, you know, and you can see all these details. It's really nice. It's a really nice panorama. Really, like the whole story actually. You see if somebody was <laughs> be standing there, or let, let's see the copper, the, the industrial house. You see, you can even recognize somebody here. Yeah, if somebody was standing here. You know, you would even recognize him. And this is how it is. <laughs> Thirty meters by. By half a meter. Cool. Oh, a lot of work to do in Panorama. A lot of stuff to learn. Okay guys, 